The thermostatic, as the name implies, rising temperature closes the valve, falling temperature opens it. So, very simple concept to understand. There's two different types, uh, liquid expansion, bellows, which is the one that we normally see in Canada. Metal expansion is bimetallic. I don't have an example of a bimetallic, but there are some out there. For example, Gastra, which is a brand name of a German company. Um, they sell a lot of this um, bimetallic. They like to promote those, so um, you'll see them once in a while. Big black body, kind of looks like this. Um, they're bimetallic. Um, VLAN, which is another brand of valve and steam trap, they use bimetallic elements for their elements. So there are, those are two examples of companies that have bimetallic elements, but they're just not that common in this part of the world. Because we um, have such cold winters, the bimetallic, we normally have cold winters, not this year. Uh, bimetallic, very slow to operate, so they can hold condensate back. So that's one reason why we don't use them so much in Canada or in northern United States. This shows you uh, an older style, but the concept is the same, whether you have a, a phosphor bronze bellows that really expands and contracts, or a newer style, it's stainless steel capsule. This drawing is just for conceptual purposes. So the element will be open, it senses that the temperature is not high, it doesn't know the difference between <coughs> air and condensate. So let air pass through, let condensate through, and as the uh, condensate is dissipated from the body of the steam trap, inside the bellows or the element, there's a liquid and alcohol mixture that starts to boil. And as it boils, it expands and pushes down on the membrane inside, which causes the head to close down on its seat until it gets to that situation. So this is uh, back to our website. So it shows there easily passing out through the steam trap. So we have two different uh, examples. One is uh, METCO, you've probably seen these around. This is the old Dunham Bush. Dunham Bush doesn't make steam traps anymore. So the people in Marshall, uh, Marshalltown, Iowa took over and called themselves METCO. So Dunham Bush is the same as METCO. This is one of ours. It's a Colton CR25A angle pattern. So it's just a nut with a spud. part like that and to get at the element you just unscrew the top so pass both around so you can see the difference they're both basically the same inside so as the air is uh, escapes from the steam trap body condensate starts to come through and then eventually hot steam will cause the element to, to close off Basically, very simple operation, very easy to understand. Back pressure thermostatic, and this shows a uh, different style, a vertical style. So this is an example of, this is actually an air vent, a thermostatic air vent, but the principle is the same, whether it's an air vent or whether the company calls it an air vent or a steam trap, exactly the same principle. So it's open, normally open, and as the heat goes up inside the body, the element expands and closes it off. Now, if you, um, maybe for future reference, I should include uh, bimetallic, but a bimetallic is basically one example is you have three different types of metals kind of in a X pattern and they're welded together. So uh, you have maybe three different metals and each has um, different. Uh, properties will expand at different rates so it actually pulls up that element sits on top of a piston and as the element warps it pulls the, the element up onto its seat it's just a different type of bimetallic or different type of thermostatic type of steam trap and where I've used these before was on extremely high pressures where we had um, steam pressures of 400 psi we needed an air vent so the typical thermostatic type uh, would never last, and the element would just last maybe a day. But with the bimetallic, it can handle extremely high pressures, extremely high temperatures. So that's why we opted for 
of bimetallic steam trap to act as the airpin.